Hi guys, today we are making the best chocolate chip cookies that you will ever make. I am adding a half cup of dark brown sugar and then I am about to add a fourth cup of regular granulated sugar. And then right here I am adding one third cup of salted butter. Now before starting this recipe, I cooked down this butter in a saucepan on medium heat, just a little bit. It's not exactly brown butter, but I cooked it down enough so that the butter flavor is very prominent in these cookies. So I'm taking my KitchenAid hand mixer and I am just mixing together the butter and the sugars until they're well combined. And then I am adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is by the brand Watkins. I love the smell of vanilla. Then I am adding one egg to the mix. Now all of the ingredients that we have in this bowl, so we have the sugar, the butter, the egg, and the vanilla, we're going to mix this until it's a really nice creamy mixture. Scrape down the sides of your bowl and then mix a little bit more until it looks exactly like this. So then we're setting this bowl aside and we're going to get started on our dry mixture. So here I have this second bowl that I'm using to add my dry ingredients. I am adding one cup of all-purpose flour and then I'm going in with one teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and then I'm taking this very underrated yet very utilized kitchen utensil, which is this adorable tiny whisk, and I'm just mixing up all of my dry mixture. And that's it. Now we're just going to add the dry ingredients to the creamed butter sugar mixture. Going back to our hand mixer, and we are going to mix this until fully combined. As I'm working, I like to scrape down the sides of my bowl to get all that extra flour off the sides. And then I go back in with my hand mixer one more time to really incorporate everything together. And then of course we are getting to the star of the show, which is the chocolate chips. And in my case, I am adding a half cup of chocolate chunks. This is from the brand Enjoy Life and I get them in a package in the health food section at Real Canadian Superstore. Enjoy Life is my favorite brand when it comes to chocolate chips because it is free of all of the top allergens and they're only made with three ingredients, so they're very clean. So now that everything is incorporated, our cookie dough is ready to be frozen. Now, I think that this is the trick to the perfect chocolate chip cookie when it comes to texture. So I am using an ice cream scoop and putting the cookie dough onto a parchment paper lined plate, which I will then place in the freezer. And it's good to give yourself at least an hour to have the dough firming up in the freezer so that they're pretty much rock solid before you put them into the oven. So this particular recipe will make about six to eight large chocolate chip cookies. Obviously, if you want a dozen, you can just double the recipe. So just before I add this cookie dough to the freezer, I am adding a couple more chocolate chunks on top of each cookie so that it has a really nice look. And then I'm going to pop these into the freezer for at least one hour. Putting down a parchment paper lined baking sheet, my cookie dough is now out of the freezer and I am going to put six of the dough balls onto the parchment paper. And I want to make sure that there's maybe two inches of space in between each cookie. Pop these into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. I know that seems like a lot of time for a cookie, but you kind of have to do it because you're cooking them from frozen. So after a couple minutes after taking these out of the oven, I will then take the cookies and place them onto a cooling rack so that they will fully come to room temperature. 
My whole life, I've basically been using the same chocolate chip cookie recipe, and I was never fully satisfied with the end result. So after a lot of trial and error, a lot of tweaking the ingredients and just all of the science behind baking, I finally came up with the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe, and I'm actually so, so proud of these. All of the ingredients and directions can be found in the description below for these amazing chocolate chip cookies. If you guys try this recipe, please let me know in the comments and let me know how you like them. Enjoy and thanks for watching.